It's April 15th, 2015, and uh, it's been raining all day, and I want to give you a quick little walk through the yard to show how everything's coming along. Um, we'll start with the garden. We got some cover crops over here. We got some less coming in with some onions as a companion planting. Um, tomatoes are coming right along. Come with some more onions. Some Swiss chards looking good. Um, Look at the raspberries. They actually fired out all right this year. I've had some issues with them. Um, got a couple dozen fruit on that one. I had one die right here. I am now testing out the uh, Caroline. Um, interesting, we actually did not have a late frost this year, so my southern high bush is uh, coming along nicely. Just starting to ripen up, as you can see. Um, so they come in really early um, on years that you don't get a late frost. But then here's the rabbit eyes. This is the type that you really should plant here. Flower a little bit later, but as you can obviously see, uh, they are not as far along as the southern high bush. Uh, got these muscadines coming out well here. They're starting to flower out. They should be loaded down pretty well. Um, compost bin and some plums they're doing all right uh, some of them are still pretty young but as you can see some green fruit on that one uh, there's probably a couple dozen plums on that tree right there that's uh, my Auburn roadside uh, some of the others just aren't holding up to produce here's the GA866 doo B coming along and here is the, uh, what's this, the sugar cane, jujube, and then there's the lee. Um, the asparagus popping up well. Uh, we need to go ahead and bank those and uh, um, really start getting some production out of those next year, just trying to get some, some age on them. And the potato beds, they're coming along quite nicely. A little fire ant hill I'm going to have to deal with. Um, putting some sweet potatoes there. Uh, we've got several types of potatoes, uh, rhubarb, and check this out. The pawpaws are actually firing this year. There they are, pawpaw flowers. This is the pawpaw patch here. I've planted several pawpaws underneath these pine trees in a little bit of shade. Hey chickadees, how you doing ladies? Um, Boom! Here is my blackberries. Really firing out really well. Uh, I'm gonna start spraying those with some neem oil and pimethrin soon. Uh, fruits looking good. Don't want to get berry mite on them. I'm testing out the Osage down here. They say that is the best uh, thornless, sweetest blackberry there is now available. Um, Here's my plantation pomegranate. Looks like some of those flowers are going to turn out to be females, meaning they will turn into fruit. Let's look at the pawpaws real quick. I mean, not pawpaws, persimmons. Hmm, got some white fly. But as you can see, shoot, there's probably 50, 60 persimmons. Every last one of those will make. A fruit they've already flowered and starting to actually grow the actual fruit and mm, side joe my favorite look at them white flies though i have to do something about that yizu early season type and plant another side joe this year citrus the satsumas Yes, I did throw a cold frame over them, protect them, just got scared and decided to go ahead and put in the work and keep them tucked in for the winter and it paid off. I mean, this, uh, see this kisi right here has just really bloomed out very well. Um, probably gonna have a hundred seedless kisus on there. I got the Brown Select, the War Eye, St. Anne's down there. All these looking really good. Um, spring Satin Plum Cock. Oh, wait, there's my newest 
orchard compost pile. But um, spring satin plum cot Byron Gold plum. I've been trying to keep these sprayed uh, with um, surround. It's kaolin clay. Keep that plum Kirky Leo off in them. Uh, that really set nicely. Elephant heart plum there. That set um, somewhat all right this year. Here's my tropic snow peach. It is just loaded out. Over 100 peaches on that tree. You have to do a little thinning. June gold, not quite as loaded out this year. Um, and then one of my favorites, the uh, donut peach here. Um, looks like you got quite a bit there. You're gonna have to do some thinning here shortly. Uh, those bad boys coming right along. Mm, those are delicious. Um, got some Arctic Fantasy uh, nectarine, uh, some Snow Queen nectarine. They're coming along. Got some fruit on them. My brown turkey fig. My pineapple quince. Cousin of the apple. Rayburn apple. Look, they're loaded pretty well. Gonna do some thinning on that little fella there, but it's just a good, good crop production. Ein Shamir. Got several baby apples. Here's the uh, fan still pear, always a heavy producer, very creamy flesh, that's a good one. Got probably 50 pears on that bad boy. And there's the uh, bales of hay I brought home to put here with the watermelon patch we're gonna put here this uh, summer between the pear trees. This is a pineapple pear originally, but I grafted, um, I think Bosque and Monterey pear on it as well. So it's another cocktail tree. And then, last but not least, our heirs pair, which you know, I haven't had a lot of success with producing a real young age, but it's got a few on it, as you can see in there. Um, this year, looks like we're finally gonna get maybe 15 or 20 off of the tree. Shinko pair. So another one last year I almost lost the ambrosia. It actually has several baby pears on it. So you can see that is an excellent, excellent Asian type uh, pear. Um, here's my heirloom apples. Okay, and they're really setting this year. This is this is a uh, horse apple. It's what they call a horse. It's actually a brown apple. Um, that cultivar is over 100 years old. Um, let me see here. The Collie. At least we get the names here. Rusty Coat. There's another good one. That didn't set. That's alright. They're too young, really. And then Dixieland. These are very old cultivars of apples. Nope, got a couple in the Dixieland. I might let it produce two or three. They're not thinning out. Almost left out the strawberry bed planted with garlic. They make excellent companion plants to put in the same bed with each other. But there you have it, an early spring walkthrough at Tended Gardens. Definitely starting the year out on a good note. Uh, keep up this pace and we might have a very, very good bountiful harvest this year. There's a lot of stuff doing well or at least showing signs of the potential of a very good season.